What up, everyone? Welcome to another Casual Toy Chat. 1045. Let's see how many people still got some steam left in them. Cobra Viper is first, man. What it do? MC DJ AC DC. What up, man? No buzz. No buzz. So let's uh let's do it like this real quick, yeah. What up, Mark Cosplay? Thank you, everyone, tuning in here. Uh oh, uh oh, loading up. The house is loading. I'm alive, y'all. Kids are having a nerf war behind me. Yeah, I've been dancing around on live streams all all afternoon here. So I said, "Shit, man, let me go ahead and and go online and see who's gonna pop in here, man. See who's got some steam left in them." What up, Trans Aaron Thirty Eight? Yeah, man. Links in the chat too. Anybody wanna wanna join in? Uh, I got something I was wanting to mess around with too. Uh, let's see here. How do I do it? I separate the screen. All right, we're gonna separate the. I gotta fall back to my projects. I was uh doing a a quick adjustment. I think it's this one here. I got like a super, super simple request, and one of the pieces actually uh, serves a, a dual purpose. So I'm going to give it a shot, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Share the screen is what I'm trying to do. Share the screen. Yeah. yeah window. There it is. Shiny L bar. Okay. And I'm going to have to bring the screen over here. And I want to have it where I can still see if anybody joins in or anything. Oh, we got Viper joining in. The Viper is coming. What you working on? Uh, a little computer panel, man. Look. That for the bat? He needs to be quiet. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a dual purpose. It's for the little bat, uh, the little bat custom thing, the bat Decius thing. And, uh, Bozzy also wants the chest. He wants the chest for a custom bat that he wants to work on. Okay. And then the little computer panel, we already know that, that's just some, some shit for the Joes and, and Cobras. Quick resize. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. So. Trying to figure out how to get get these windows situated where I can keep an eye on the chat and still still see what's going on here. Uh, I might have to abandon watching the chat. We'll see. Oh. That's a uh, dude. His name is Duke. All right, so I need to get my calipers real quick. Let me see it real quick. I need those. All right, so break out this, and we've got. Uh, well, it's going to be the play of the computer. What's that other shit on the board? Oh, uh, it's, I, was, I wasn't sure if I wanted to print it as a whole piece or if I wanted to have it broke down. So this is the same, basically the same thing, just, just broke down into different pieces here. Let me, there we go. Oh, no. That messed that up. All right. So yeah, that's the center computer there. Oh shit, I keep bending it. See the different panels? These are sideways there. There we go. So like the panels kind of go off to the side here. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I think it'll print pretty good with supports and all, so I think I'm just going to do the one piece. And then the bat thing, I got to figure out. I'm going to do a couple of different size variants of the bat chest. I got to bring in the, the, Decius, the Decius drone project or whatever. So I would say... Uh, Shit. Those computer panels on the top of them. Probably gonna do you a measuring it. What you measuring the legs? Yeah, I, I figured the I figured that the uh, the computer panels should come like kind of right waist side, just slightly above his waist, so he can reach out and deal with them. You know. So I, I figure I'm gonna do it 105. 105 millimeters high. You got a DCS drone to test it on? Is that what it's going in? Yeah, you sent me the DCS drone, remember? Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Oh, no, the no, not the computer panel. The computer panel is uh, for GI Joes. Oh, even better. So the, just that little uh, just the two bat panel. For the yeah. That's for the DCS drone. That's all that is. Oh, shit. I, think I love you too. Goodbye. Thank you for food. <laughs> I hope she shits in her pants so when you get back, you can change it. You're going to save it just for you. No, I already changed her today. She usually poops once a day. Oh, you lucky, man. My kids, they did it four or five times a day. Yeah, it all depends, man. I don't know. Some days it's twice, some days it's once, but mostly it's once. So there's my panel. We're going to go ahead and delete this other shit. I'm not going to Yeah, you got it. a bunch of, it looks like you got trash on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get that garbage out of the way. All right. So we've got the panels there. These look really bland, though. I like the base. The base looks cool. This part, yeah. What's going on in the chat here? Oh, we got a uh, no trans We're not gonna we're not gonna label it as finishing the project just yet. We are making progress towards the project. <laughs> This, there's not much free time. Like I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm squeezing shit in. We got a uh, uh, the the original was 28 millimeter, and I'm gonna try to funk it out a little bit more. Uh, that's a uh, Mark cosplay asked about that. Uh, original the original file was 28 millimeters, and I'm pumping it up to to the 112 uh, GI Joe skill. GI Joe or Marvel, I guess it could be used with anything, kind of. Uh, what else? Mr. Uh, Mark Cosplay. Yeah, I've been, he's been in all the chats. I've been bouncing around to all day, too. Well, I think we took him over from Joe's Multiverse because I heard Joe and them saying, yeah, we ain't seen you in a minute. I was like, well, he been over here last I seen him. <laughs> I like Figurehead. He sent me a message and said, thanks for the support today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think yeah, he knows I'm a cynic and a dickhead, and I usually don't support people unless I like them. I was uh, chatting with him a little bit after the stream, too. We got, uh, let's see, uh, MC, D, uh, MC DJ ACDC is in the house. Uh, is he going to join? T Fan Page is here, too. I saw MC DJ over in PAX channel and then uh, DFS Infinite. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I hung out with Pac and them, too. I didn't want to start. Like, I've been wanting to get on since 10 o'clock, but I was like, I, I want to watch their shit, too, man. Yeah, I was watching their shit, trying to deal with the baby. I couldn't type all the time, but I was listening the whole time. Yeah, I, that's what I was doing, messing with these printers and listening. Well, I went to Joe's for a little bit, and then I bounced. I had Pac on the TV, but I had Joe and them on the phone, so I was trying to, like, flip-flop and watch both at the same time. Damn, baby, you don't throw up between my toes and everything, man. Shit. Uh, 
Hey, stop, man, man. Don't hit nobody. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't be hitting yeah. nobody. Don't yell either. I'm on live. Don't yell at me. That'd be tacky to yell at your dad on live. Thank you. Don't you tell us what to do, Daddy. Don't you pick the blee, 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 blee. Yeah. Oh, God. The young one don't know how to cock gun, so I spend the whole day. He, he just He's rude, too. He's just, huh, huh, yeah. huh. Yeah, when his face is like, hmm. You gonna do it. Can't. Can't. Can't hear you, Corey. You gotta get him the little battery operated one that he just pulls the trigger and he don't have to cock shit. It just shoots as soon as he pulls that trigger. We got one of them, but they, they blow through it so fast you gotta keep reloading it. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. After the first one, you're on your own, man. I'll show you how to do it. You're on your own. Oh, figurehead's in here. What's up, man? What up, man? Starscream 0078 is in here too. I heard Starscream talking about Joe's the other day too. Uh oh, he done got Joe in. Yeah, he was saying what Joe he wanted to make next. I think he was talking about. Man, everybody's catching Joe vid, man. <laughs> it's good and it's bad. There's a lot of people that never collected Joe's before. And now that Classified came along, they're an expert. Uh, expert is loosely used. Well, I don't mean like people in our circle. I mean other YouTubers and stuff think they're experts. Yeah, yeah, man. I never complain. that I never say I'm an expert. I'm just a humble guy who enjoys the toys. Stars Graham said cough, cough. Yeah. <laughs> don't be coughing on us. We got it already. We good. Don't hey, we, we got antibodies, everybody, so we straight. Cough all you need to. No masks needed. Well, we've got a couple. We got a T fan page hasn't been infected yet, man, so make sure you don't cough on him. He's, he's Agent Zero. He might be immune. Yeah, yeah, he might be. He might be immune to it. Long Dragon, what up, man? He got such a Transformer collection. That'd be crazy for him to go in another direction. Well, he's got the Hot Wheels and, and the Legos and all, too, man. Oh, he got Legos on, on point, too, man. I yeah. like Legos. Man, did Skydro, did you see them pictures Skydro post? Uh, did he send them to you, the Lego G.I. Joes? Yeah, yeah, he said that's he jumped off our live stream because he said he was going to find them. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Banner. Well, Bruce Banner says we're I'm a fake-ass streamer. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'll be surprised when Bruce gets Jovid. Nah, he'll never catch it, man. He said Jove is fake news anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he'll never catch it, man. Hey, I'm trying to. I, I've, I've, I've been like, just hold this shit. Tell me this shit isn't a tight toy. He's like, man. I don't well, for him, he got the new Power Rangers. He can enjoy that. He won't even bite on them. I try to tell him about them shits. He won't even bite on them. You ain't no real Power Ranger fan, poser. <laughs> he said secret streams without me. <laughs> what, you want to come over, man? I'll try man, to get this in, man. Hey, I'll step out your house, Bruce. Yeah. Walk down the street. Leave your car. We could, we could do it in the house or the shed. My daughter's over here talking about, please no. When I said we'll go to the shed, she's like, please no. Yeah, she don't want to be left with the children, huh? <laughs> she said, for real. How old's my Asia? 12? No, she's nine. Hey, Damn, she seems, she seems grown for nine. Man, she's smart, man. She's smart. Yeah. She oh. makes my 12-year-old look like a 5-year-old over here. I swear to God. Hey man, I'm I'm so proud of all my kids. They they are all smart. The boys are a little rambunctious because they're young, but but they're gonna get it together. Look at what Shit, that did. apple don't fall far from the tree, does it? Look at what my daughter did today, man. Nine years old. Hold up, let me full screen that. I got to own that skill. I've been over here fucking up stick figures and shit. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's not bad for being freaking nine. Yeah, yeah. 
she was over here beside me at the desk drawing it and i didn't know what she was doing i just saw lines going up and and i once it started forming together i glanced over i was like man like what what is she i saw her doing a little fade fading with her finger rubbing the pencil and stuff i was like man what what you know about that <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, it's in her blood. I used to I used to be heavy in the art when I was younger. It was hard after. But I couldn't make no money off of it. So I had to I had to divert the stuff to get paid. Well, mute mute it again. Mute it again. Hey Cora. <laughs> I'm muted again, my bad. Yeah, I used to do the shading when I was in jail with the, the letters and the clouds. I used to make clouds on all the envelopes and sell them for commissary. Yep, yep. You got to get them honey buns somehow. Yeah, man. Hey, I got that that main plate for that honey bun. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Throw in a peanut butter and you got a deal. All right. I know, right? Yeah, throw in a peanut butter you got a deal. <laughs> Wow. I don't think anybody's lived until they ate like a jailhouse burrito or a pizza. Oh. Crushed up Fritos and whatever chips you can get with the cheese dip and little sausage links. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or the brownies. Right. We used to make brownies with Oreos and Chips Ahoy crushed up and Nutter Butters. Yep, say hiding milk from breakfast, hide, hiding a little carton of milk from breakfast to make some, some ice cream out of Oreos and shit. Or well, I call it ice cream, warm cream. Shit, that shit was watery ass cereal. <laughs> you got to hit that right mixture, man. You can turn it into cake. You can turn it into cake, man. You put it in the windowsill. <laughs> Ugh, starting to ferment and shit. I remember somebody snuck in some weed. There was about eight of us in the line hitting this little pinwheel joint under the basketball goal uh, during outside wreck. Trying to light it off of the socket with a staple. <laughs> no, we had a lighter in there. Somebody had a lighter. What? Y'all were Yeah. Boy. They had little hand-rolled cigarettes and hand-rolled weed. That I swear to God, that shit wasn't no fucking weed. Hey, motherfuckers in jail, in jail were jolting themselves up with staples, boy, trying to get that shit lit. They like, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Shit, I never had the white lightning though. That's what they always talked about was making white lightning. Yeah. Yeah. That's a you can pop it. You take like nail clippers and just clip a little bit of it and the water will come out. She got a little blister on her hand. Let's see here. Uh, uh, I got two people in the chat in the video. Well, no, which one am I doing? That one. That's the one I'm doing. So I think I got the computer panel already okay. scaled, but I want to add a little bit more. Let's see if I can do something. You got two. How did you get two? I found the second one. I need to get y'all some more ammo for that one. Let's see, uh, keyboard. Let's see if I can find a, a model for a keyboard. Uh, a bunch of different parts for. Oh, would that work? Would that work? Shit, it's better than what they have. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I could do that. Yeah, man, that's perfect. Perfect, oh perfect, perfect, perfect. Hey, stop all the yelling, man. Hey, I got you, uh, AC. I'm coming, man. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we got 3R in here. Rolling Red Night Reviews. What up, man? Not much. Just ended my damn shift because my freaking air compressor on the tractor burnt out. Dang. They had to come and tow me, well, tow my truck and bring me another truck so I could all this trailing back. Redneck Reviews? Is that who I hear? Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I think that's the first time he's ever been on the stream and he wasn't driving the truck. 
No, oh, I, I'm usually driving my car. Oh, I'm usually oh. driving my car when I'm on stream because I'm on my way home from work, which is what I'm doing now. Oh, so you're still driving. Oh, damn. You're muted again, I, Viper. You're muted. I've got another hour drive to get in the house. You almost sound just like Lone Dragon. Ain't gonna lie. When I first rolled in here, I was like, who? I, I couldn't read the name, so I didn't know who it was. Hey, y'all do kind of have similar voices a little bit, actually. Now that I think Not about exact, it. but if you didn't know no better, they're pretty close. Yeah, if you didn't tune in, you, you could confuse it. I, I see where you're getting that from. Oh, wow. Oh, what a name. This is funny. You going right. to put some... Um, Details on them computers or the stickers? Yeah. Is that... Damn, slow down, Kevin. Slow down. I don't know what's happening. I had to walk off. I got you. I got you. That's what I'm doing, actually. Uh, it, it wasn't. No, I didn't lie to you. I'm not happy with, with, with what's showing right now. Let's see. Hey, he's going to leave it blank and you have to hand paint the details yourself. Yeah, you got to put the keyboard in yourself. So this keyboard is labeled. The name of it is Booty Shorts. I thought that was funny. Right. God, dog, there's a bunch of stuff here. Hold on, y'all. I need to Damn check it, these man. Why I almost forgot stuff? my coffee. I don't want that. Can't do that. Keypad. Here we go. Let's see what that one looks like. <sighs> Oh man, he had to put damn booty shorts on it. <laughs> that's the name of the file. Oh, that's whack, man. Okay, so that wasn't even a keyboard. We're gonna have to go back to look for something else. It was like a keyboard case. I, I guess you disassemble your keyboard and put it in the in his case, his printable case or something. Guess what I find. found. At, you find? Um, at at Walmart this morning. What's that? Flint and Lady J times two. Oh yeah, I I found some yesterday too, but I didn't get them. I didn't get them either. Hey man, GI Joe's fixing all the distribution problems for all the crybabies. Honestly, yep. like there's shit everywhere. There's bloods everywhere. There's Lady J's and Flint's. My girl saw six or tw or six infantry, and they had twelve or six more in the back at my Target. Yeah, man. They're getting whole yeah. cases of infantry. Whole cases now. Hey, and there's a lot of a lot of pop up hate people that got on because of the bullshit with Hasbro and that shit about to stop. Well, I saw some people posting. They said Baroness were found in Georgia and somewhere else. Who stop playing today? No, nah, man. I saw that on my IG stream. The guy said, um, "Where was it?" I think it was in fucking Maryland or somewhere. It was on the East Coast, and they, they had a picture of the Baronesses on shelves. And I don't know if they're fucking with us, but they said confirmed in Georgia and wherever that was. I don't believe it until I start seeing multiple people post it. Like the Bloods. I've seen tons of blood photos lately. Everyone posting Bloods on the page. Baroness, the same one with the red... Nothing different. Life. Nothing different. It looked exactly the same. Exactly the same. No repaint. Just a reissue. Really? That's what I saw on their post. Now, it could have been a photo from when they first found Baroness way back in January or whatever. Yeah. But I don't think Trying anybody... Trying to take everybody else. Yeah. And I was like with the Vipers that showed up, like some people I heard in Joe Multiverse's chat, they were saying, yeah, Vipers are showing back up. I thought that was just old stock that one store had. They're not showing up, man. Yeah, that was old stock that they found at one store. And so the, yeah. the we're playing the game of telephone where it goes in one ear and then it goes down 10,000 heads. And by the time it gets to the end, Vipers are re-released when Hasbro never agreed to that. Yeah, they said so we the first wave, again. the first wave of Cobra Island is Beachhead, Roadblock, Trooper, Baroness. Right. Man. Damn, so should I be going to Target tomorrow? 
I think I'm going to get up and go to Target for the first time since the blood hunt because I I got so pissed about the damn blood shit. I just I took a break. Yeah, I, I did to, too, man. I needed to once, detach, man. Once we well, scored a big one of them, I fell out. I was like, man, I'm taking a breather. I'm tired of getting up every fucking morning. Well, it was like when Aaron found 25 of them, I knew something was suspect at that point. That's too many for somebody to be finding. Granted, he did a lot of leg work, but that's telling yeah. me that the market's going to be flooded. Yeah. It's going to be like the yeah. blue cocos hanging on pegs. Once I knew the whole click had them, or pretty much the whole click had them, I, I boarded on that shit. I was tired, man. I'm tired of going every morning. We got to find Jay Halla fucking beachhead, man. He's the first yeah. on the list for a beachhead. Yep, uh, I'm working on it. I'm trying to get one from a. Uh, I'm trying to get one from Obsessed, but like I say, that the damn prices, prices up there. Are, I, th I think being patient and let's see what happens, man. Beachheads might start hitting the shelves again, and we might be able to trade. You know, maybe something smaller for a beachhead. We don't got to trade something big for it. Yeah. Because if they start pumping them out like the major bloods were, and there's two or three cases at a store at a time. That might fizzle out a couple of people that are trying to scalp them because how are you going to scalp it when it's all across the country? Yeah, yeah. True. That's like trying to scalp He-Man right now. What you going to do with He-Man and Skeletor? Kid with a Kung Fu grip. I, I saw them. He-Man and Skeletor, just the regular ones on Macari. Someone asked him, 30 damn dollars plus shipping on the fuckers. Boy, and stop. Some, somebody might buy that. Somebody. Not nice. this somebody. No, here, here's what I, here's what I'm hearing. Canada's not getting He Man and Skeletor. Really? Well, nobody in Canada's finding He Man and Skeletor anywhere. They can find the later waves, but the the first waves in Wave Zero, they can't find nowhere. And by the way, uh, He Man and Skeletor are technically Wave Zero. Oh, okay, okay. They're outside of a, of a normal wave release. Well, I haven't heard any of my Canadian friends asking yet. If they ask, I'll go get some right away. But I'm, I'm in a couple of uh, Origins uh, groups on Facebook, and uh, the one thing that they've said that they've, been, they've not been they, they were able to get it because they had friends in the States, or they live close enough they can just drive across the border. But in Canada itself, they're not seeing He-Man and Skeletor anywhere. Cass, that package still ain't show up today? It's these clowns at the Augusta Post Office, man. It didn't come. It didn't come to my local one. It went to it went to the Augusta Distribution Center. And shit, man. they, they uh, Trans Aaron sent me a package. They kept that shit for like six days down there before they sent it up to me. Well, I'm hoping this shows up because, man, them parts ain't fucking cheap that I sent you. All them little canards and shit. That was like probably $100 worth of parts. It will, man. They just fucking, they just it, slow, man. I know, I know. I'm just hey, worried, Cass. man. Yeah. Here's what happens with that. I, I lay odds I know what happens at that distribution center. That shit comes up in on a container truck and sets on that lot until they can get through and process it. If they've got a lot of shit coming in. It takes them a while to get through it, especially if right now with them being short staffed. A lot of these distribution centers are uh, short staffed bigger than hell because nobody wants to go to work. They can make more money sitting on their ass doing nothing, collecting that check. Yeah, I'm not pulling it. Then they can't get going to work. So that's probably what's going on down there. They're short staffed. I ain't got enough people to go through all those goddamn trucks. Yeah, kid, kid with a kung fu grip is asking if anybody in in Canada can help us get troopers and baronesses. We can, like the trooper, the trooper is feasible because they'll spend in Canada. Their price is about 30, 37 U.S. Boy, their price in Canada is about thirty seven U.S. dollars for a trooper, and then it's probably going to cost about eighteen to twenty dollars to ship it down to us. So you're still cheaper in the scalper price. Now Baroness, Baroness up there, their cost is like I think he said it was almost uh, I think it was 77 U.S. dollars. 
And then that's a bigger box, so you're probably going to spend $25, $30 to ship it down. Like, I it guess depends on where you're shipping from in Canada and where you're shipping to in Canada. I'm in Georgia. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I yeah. know that. I'm in Georgia. Yeah. But so. what I'm saying is it, it's like it's like shipping from state to state here. here. It's cheaper. And yeah, it'll yeah. cost. It, depend, it just depends on what state you're shipping to. It's like shipping to New York costs more than shipping to, uh, I, I don't know, Illinois. Well, not Illinois. Illinois sucks. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Montana. Yeah. And even though Montana's a lot further away than New York City or New York State, New York State charges a surcharge tra- to shit that shit. Yeah, right. So it depends on, on what province they're in and what city they're in when they ship it, what it's going to cost. Right, yeah, yeah. Like a uh, a uh, kid with a kung fu grip, I is actually up in New York, I believe. So it probably wouldn't be that bad for him. He right. He'd be looking at cheaper than us. Like in Georgia, shit, we might as well pay a scalper for <laughs> to send it down to us. It's it's almost the same thing. We might save ten ten fifteen bucks coming all the way from Canada to Georgia. I had a dude order a vamp jeep from me. I was like, man, holy shit. I spent $47 to ship it up to him. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. And that shit, there wasn't no speed shipping about it. That was like bare minimal. You get it when you get it. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, normally, dude, I do two-day shipping for people. I was like, I don't like, I don't want people to wait, man. That's crazy because I sent three Sky, or I, I sent two Sky Strikers and one X-30 um conquest to one action figure one it was like a hundred dollars in india yeah. he's in india it was a hundred dollars jesus that's crazy that shit took almost a month to get there too no, I but he, he, he got yeah, everything I sent, though i sent two classics figures two uh master universe classics to um, this guy up in Canada, over twenty dollars to ship that. I sent um, uh, that Keldor to M3, and it was like six months, seven months, something like that. What man? Eight, maybe. It was somewhere around there. Usually, it's that- like ten bucks in the United States to send priority. Shit, I spent twenty bucks. That's what I. That's what I mark as an average, but depends on on uh, on um my weights too. So, but that Keldor had a bunch of extra shit in it, so it weighed about the same as those two. Um, and it was a male figure as opposed to uh, a Shira and a prince, the Princess Laura. You're now you didn't two day ship it though, right? No. Yeah, I was gonna say I do two day shipping, so I don't the other that the the longer shipping, I won't even look at that. That's not even a thought to me at all. Yeah, six day shipping, I don't even touch. I do two day or three day max. Yep. Anybody else got there it got there in four days. Up to Canada. I paid for two day shipping on Trans Aaron. And that shit didn't show up till the uh, seven days later. Yeah, Jeezy Crazy, what up, man? Hey, I'll I'll see I'll see what I can work out for you, kid, with a kung fu grip. I ask him I ask him what he can get a hold of, and and we'll figure out we'll figure out what kind of prices he can get it down to you. I know a couple of people up there, man. So I'll see, I'll see if they can't work some magic and get something down here. Hopefully, we see some stuff, man. I'm going to go check out Target tomorrow based off of what... Uh, what, kids what? looking for a beachhead too, right? <laughs> Take the kids with me. <laughs> what, kids I, uh, looking for a beachhead though, right? Kid with the kung fu grip? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got I know you. Bozzy yeah, yeah. needed one. A couple other cats needed one. While you're at Target, do me a favor. 
keep uh, keep an eye out for that um, Rise of Evil two pack. They're supposed to be restocking that shit. Yeah, I've already found two of them and sent them out. I'll look again. Because I, I need oh, not, I mean, one more. Because I'm that that Keldor. I, I want to put that Skeletor head on there, and make it my Skeletor too. And, I've seen that uh, I'm, kid. I'm using the 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 Kronos as uh, Trap Jaws minions. You're speaking Chinese to me. I know who none of these people are. I know that Keldor yeah. is Skeletor before he got turned, right? Right. And Kronos is Trap Jaw before Skeletor blasted him in the face with the Havoc Staff and then um, and blew his arm off. He got the major blood treatment. Yeah. Kronos uh, uh, tried to take over. Uh, Skeletor's operation. Skeletor was uh, Havoc Staff and blew his arm off with the blast from the Havoc Staff. And then had uh, Triclops rebuild his ass. I know they're pretty cool toys. I opened them and reviewed them. They're not bad. I'd buy them if I was into that. I, I was satisfied with the way they were built, with the articulation and the movement. It was great. And the fact that you can mix and match parts for them. That's a built-in gimmick. If you have uh, a bunch of different figures, you can mix and match, come up with your own custom shit. Easy. The heads come off, the, comes off at the waist, at the boot cut, uh, and the arms come off and the wrists, hands come out of the wrists. All of it's interchangeable. Oh my god, this thing is taking forever to load to this damn cheese. Uh oh, I gotta clean all the oven trays. <laughs> this is what what it looks like when you print. That's the back of a sky that's uh, sky no uh skyhawk uh yeah skyhawk. So yeah, take a spatula, scrape it off, put that back in one, break it or something. Ow, you shot me. He shot me. Hey, I need some space, y'all. I need some space, y'all gonna have to have to leave the area for a little while. You can go in your room or something. Huh? I am going super early in the morning. Y'all ain't gonna be ready for Target in the morning when I go. No. I don't see that bright red junk back there. You keep it hidden, right? Keep that bright that. redness. Can't do hidden. it, Asia. Can't do it, Asia. Can't do it, Asia. I don't have. I really don't have money to buy what I'm going to look at. I'm not mean. No, Asia. I said no, Asia. I'll take you somewhere tomorrow when I get off work or something. How about that? You gonna spend your money though, because Daddy's broke. <laughs> Uh, maybe not. I'm probably not going to buy nothing. If they have it, I got to get it, though. Because I have Jovid. Because I have Jovid 19, Asia. Jeez. What up, DFS Infinite? I have Jovid 19. I can't help it. The only thing that fixes it is getting G.I. Joe toys. And when I can't get new toys... I get more of the ones that I have already. <laughs> and you make new ones. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Or I help other people get toys that they don't have. Whoa. Oh, that was a, this is an easy clean up. So far. Don't speak too what, you got much. another Skyhawk? Get this is a tail the tail of it. I'm getting one together. I gotta get one together for a toy cartel before he he kills me. Before he puts yeah, a head out. Yeah, for sure, right? Me. I don't want to put a head out on my life. Hey, um, Cass. Yeah. I just thought of something you need to make. 
What was that? Nah. Is it G.I. Joe related? Yes, it's G.I. Joe related. Okay, carry on. <laughs> What's yeah, that? that the, jump, the, the jet pack launch platform. Oh, the jump. You know? Yeah, that's already yeah. been discussed. You did it already. I've got it designed. I just didn't print it yet. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I got that already. And the uh, the backpack and the little jump platform. I've got, I've even got a uh, the Cobra surveillance port done. I hadn't printed it yet though. It's gonna take a long time to print. The jump wouldn't take any time though. You think a lot of people would be interested in the jump? No, uh, it's an iconic piece. I don't see why not. It's small. I could I could do them cheap. That's for sure. It's not that much. Another thing you need to do is an ask to go with the stinger. Ask. You've already got the vamp. It's easy to turn the vamp into the stinger. That's already been discussed, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on the stinger. Uh, the, uh, I've actually got the, the stinger done. I want to do advanced editing, though, to really spice it up. Though. Yeah, so what have you You got the doors done, you said, the missile rack. The, I got well, just the missiles and the doors. Okay, point. okay. I was wondering what the status update was. Yeah. For the fans yeah. out there that don't know, all of this shit has been brought up to attention, but it takes time to fucking splice, yeah. cut, move, resize, print. Jay Holla reminding everyone that Snake Eyes and Timber goes up for pre order tomorrow, y'all. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Central, 10 a.m. Sure. Uh, Pacific Time, right? Uh, one, or 11 a.m. because it's three hours behind. 11. Well, if it's 11. if it's going up for one, at one, it'll go up at 10 uh, Pacific Time. That's what I thought. So yeah, 10 Pacific. 12 central and a 1 a 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, and I've seen it what on Big Bad Toy Store, Empire Toy Shop, Hasbro Pulse, and where else do they have it? Amazon's supposed to have it too. Amazon's think, right? supposed to have it. So we have that's all major retailers so far for like I guess online order only. Jay says he'll be available. Yeah, everywhere. yeah. He's available on Amazon, but he's not an exclusive to Amazon like the Storm Shadow. Just like Roadblock wasn't exclusive to Amazon, it just happened to be hosted on Amazon. Everybody get a Roadblock? That shit was up for like two days. I know I ordered two Roadblocks off Rip. Yell at them kids. Get to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I was I muted? Oh, my bad. Yes. My bad. I was I was just leaning over here. Stre yeah, I was just stretching and whatnot. I wasn't I wasn't yelling at the kids at all. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that that life size uh, cobra snake? Um, that one, one scale cover snake, someone three three D printed. Uh, what do you mean by cover snake? Talking about the snake armor, or what do you mean? Yeah, the snake armor. I did the snake armor. The, no, no, uh, twelve inch. I'm, for the no, season? no, I'm talking okay. about for a human being. Oh no, I didn't do that. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. So, Somebody really did that? Someone did a one one scale snake. Wow. The wow. thing is freaking huge. How the hell did they pull it out? It's I got a picture of it on my phone, I'll send it to you when I get home. 
Did they mention how long it took them to do that? Um, probably. Uh, it's been a while since I saw it. Oh, you don't recall? I got you. I saved it just because that thing was just cool as shit. I bet, man. That sounds awesome. It definitely it sounds like a, proud of. There's a, a little oriental girl there. Well, I say little. She's like late teens, early 20s standing beside the thing and it's a good head and shoulders taller than her. Wow. I wonder uh, I wonder if I could Google that. I think it's like six foot tall or some shit. Oh, wow. I bet that thing's hard to move in. It's probably as clunky as the toy was back in the day. It, it might not be movable. It might be a statue, but I'm a bit of y'all trying to trying to work this out. What do y'all think? Does that does that look? look we can't better? see the computer screen. Oh, oh, okay. My bad. I thought I thought it was sharing it. Uh, uh right there. Yeah, there we go. All right. No, not that one. Shit, wrong window. What you put? It's hard to keys on there. Yeah, trying to put some some keys. Oh on there. yeah, that's looking righteous. Yes, we like me likey. Ah, hold on. You need some bigger screens. Them shits don't look like no damn flat screen. No, it don't, man. <laughs> uh, Honestly, you need to make it look like a fucking YouTuber tower with two damn monitors, two keyboards. Well, I can. Maybe I like do the that. thing in the middle. Would it be how cool would it be if you did a thing in the middle that had like a palm print in the middle of it? Oh, that'd be easy to do. Like a hand <laughs> scanner, right there in the uh, middle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would do I'm not just good. throwing ideas my out matrix. there. That's now, actually, my matrix is everywhere now. I do like that keyboard. Well, you know, they were laughing at me saying that G.I. Joe's not based in reality in some aspects, but we're doing cloning nowadays on the back of rats. We clone ears and noses, and we do, you know, surgery on people that put the ear to the head. So yep. it's super possible that you could get DNA from ancestors and like decaying bodies and then create a fucking creature out of it. Create Serpentor. <laughs> I don't think zombies are at all feasible because I think once you're dead, you're fucking dead. To animate. Uh, it depends on what's, what's used to, to reanimate. There's actually a, a several pathogens right now that within uh, the natural world that could mimic uh, z zombie apocalypse. Well, the only reason I'll give that credit is if you've ever seen zombie caterpillars and zombie ants and things because they get like a fungus in their brain and they become a zombie. Yeah. I mean, if it happens to a fucking caterpillar, it could happen to one of us. Yeah, it would take a dramatic mutation of that... Uh, pathogen but yeah man i might have to get off of here for a minute just my face yeah you good man how do you good still trying to i knew it this shit's crooked come on straighten out damn you almost looks like some fan of the phantom of the opera keyboard what do you think, man? I should, I should ditch this and go for something more traditional or what? Either, I like that one and then maybe do a traditional one on the other side. I mean, that looks cool. Spicing it up, changing it a little bit. It almost looks like a specialized control panel. 
Alright, so one keyboard down, so the other side is just a normal keyboard. I'd have to hunt that down too. And then you say a TV or something. Right from the beginning. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, computer monitor. Let's see if we can find one. Of those. Computer monitor, computer monitor, computer monitor. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, you want to look for a computer keyboard, not monitor, right? Well, you were talking about the screens. No doubt. So, taking them. I, I got something that might work. I can only see it from the back right now until I, until I open it up. Let's see. Uh, I'll scan and make sure they don't got some other shit real quick. And I don't see Ooh. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah, but it wouldn't fit in. It would work for something else, but it wouldn't be part of that panel. And let's see. Ooh, that's old school. Oh, what is it? Oh, no, that's a cell phone mount. Uh, you know what we can get in uh, filament? In what? In filament for uh, uh, what? 3D printer. What's that? Uh, that green to blue color change that was used on Zartan Skiff. They they've got it, man. They got that so that ch the color change in the sun plastic. They do. They've got a, a color change in from green to blue, like you're talking about. They've actually got some that change three or four different colors. And they're even introducing matte prints now, which I'm really excited about. I'm, I've never was fond about these G.I. Joe vehicles being glossy. So I'm, I'm very interested in, for that, that matte stuff to really catch on. What sheen is the his tank in? Uh, they're just like all the filaments re that are readily available right now. They all have a gloss to them. So that red's going to be shiny. I'm cool with that. I don't care. I mean, not, it's not really. It's not bad. Like where is it's. it's It's not like it's not like super gloss or anything like a semi or satin maybe we'll say like it's not you know it's just got some gloss to it, but I would prefer military vehicles to be like flat 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 matte, like no no shine no glisten. Yeah, I think what Raw Talk painted the uh, Skyhawk matte black, right? Oh, later later kid with a kung fu grip. I just saw he was going to leave. Uh, whether I think they should be glossy or not. Uh, Joe ground vehicles, I would say yes, Matt as hell. Yeah. Um, air vehicles tend to have a gloss to them. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. And um. I would see Cobra vehicles having a gloss to them more than Matt. Because it, they're stand out because their vehicles are as much of an intimidation factor as they are a weapon system. Right, right, I got you. Well, none of that mattered in the toys because the toys were glossy as shit. Only some yeah, of the vehicles had matte finishes, like the Rattler's glossy, the Sky Striker's glossy, the Vamp looks matte, but it's actually glossy, the Stinger's glossy, yeah. so it may be cool to change it, but yeah, everything came glossy, so I don't think it really would matter unless it's personal preference. Uh -huh.
I was just about to say, so it sounds like it's personally in my head. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, restoring them, that's what you do is you take plastic polish and you repolish the plastic to get rid of the scratches and make them look decent again. Yeah, I got you. Let's see. How, is this going to be more suitable, you think, Corey? Yeah, all day. That looks cool. Still this gotta, fucking huge. Get the scale together better there. Uh, where is the... There we go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, right there. Still not... Oh shit, would you look at that? The little stand connects underneath it and everything. A little detail. So what that you, what you think, man? Is that it? I think that's perfect. Maybe just a little hint smaller if if you want to do like something in the middle, but I think that middle kiosk would look cool too if you did like some type of small little device with a smaller screen. Either way, it's looking like fire right now. I love it. Get in the center with that keyboard. It'd be perfect. The way I see it with that, um, if you got that keyboard right there, plus that large monitor on that one side, keep the other side with that small monitor. So, for one, it'll be asymmetrical. And put on, the, on that side with the small monitor a uh, set of specialized controls. Instead of just a keyboard. I don't know what you're making it for, but that would look really sharp to me. The uh, it's just a computer panel for Marvel or GI Joe or whatever. Yeah, well, in that just case, yeah, definitely what I just said. Did use that um, that smaller monitor there as like um. <clears throat> um uh, specialized readout that's just giving you certain information of whatever the the control panel is. Yeah. like you know uh, uh, like in a reactor or whatever they'll have a big computer and then they'll have a bunch of other smaller readouts and shit around the workstation does that make sense yeah I understand what you're saying yeah Actually, you can get a couple of those small monitors. You can put a couple of them up to, up top like that, so they're each of them giving you different information. Let's see. Shit. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool if you do a cluster of monitors, like three or four monitors on the one side, break it up. Are those little ones? Yeah. Yeah, maybe do like a long one up top and two shorter ones or three different sizes. The shit, do whatever you like, man. That thing look cool. It's getting better the more you tweak with it. Yeah. This damn keyboard keeps feeling a little off, though. Like the angle. The angle feels crooked by here. It is. Uh. No, it feels too damn short. So it should go this way. It's, I guess it feels, a lot of it just feels weird because the, the thing is diagonal. I can't get the damn angle right. And it's too high. It should be something down or somewhere else. Uh, it's still got to be up there. Or maybe the, that's what it is. The angle should be down lower. Where's that? Uh, damn, it's still crooked. It feels crooked. It looks straight to me. From what I can tell. Then again, I'm looking, looking at it on a little ass screen, so...
Let's see how that side is coming out. It's like, it looks all throw it off. I'm using it. Oh, you need the charger. Here, here you go. Yeah, I'm charged. You're good. Uh, I don't know if I'm 100% convinced that I like this keyboard even. See how it gets, it's like it's slanting. Somewhere the shit's got screwed up. Hey there, Got this fun around. Oh, he turned. He's setting up radar. He's setting up that radar trap. <laughs> oh man, it's 11:47 too. Got it. I don't know. I got about 13 more minutes or so here, and I'm I'm gonna have to crash, man. I gotta take a shower. Yeah, I'll you on that one. Get ready for them. Tomorrow's eight-hour torture. Tomorrow's gonna even be more torture when you're looking for that snake eyes. Oh yeah, one o'clock. I'm hoping we can just order it like we did with the roadblock. When they said it's available on Amazon and we all ran over there and bought it. Hopefully it's the same, just like that. I'm ordering it from Amazon because all their stuff they sent me. Amazon is the easiest. It I, when you, when y'all told me Amazon was gonna have it, that that was I was happy with that, man. I've been lucky so far with the Amazon shit. I got my stuff. I got my cone heads and didn't have that in the bottom where they were canceling people's order on that. And I got my uh, iron hide prowl set and my um, uh, ratchet. Didn't you have problems with Amazon on uh, the cone heads or something? That they they can't you ordered them but they canceled your order or something Nothing. something like that. I didn't have that problem. They never canceled nothing on me. They kept asking me if I wanted to cancel, and I kept renewing, renewing, renewing. I had, um, let's see, what was it? It was um, the clones canceled on me, but I still ended up getting it. The Autobot clones? Yeah, they sent my Storm Shadow. What's hmm. eleven fifty? Y'all need to be asleep, man. Y'all need to be in bed. There shouldn't be no children running around at this this time. Give them the drip, Daddy. <laughs> time to get off the stream. Hey, wow. You made some progress, man. Throw some more monitors on there. That seemed way easier. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I could just clone this one. You don't think I should have different monitors? No, I, I definitely think either go with like one that looks like a traditional dual computer stand and then maybe make another one like uh, Redneck said that has multiple like maybe camera monitors. So it's like a security station more or less than a computer station. Right. And then you could do one like he said, like maybe a control station. So you can have like different options for people. Like if they want to do like a laboratory, they could do the computers. If they want to do like checkpoint alpha, they could do something like with the multiple monitors for security systems. And then like maybe the controls for like a cloning lab or like a foundry. You know, these motherfuckers imaginations are going to run wild with this shit. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the multiple monitors I think would look cool. So it looks like I'm, uh, you raise them up a little bit so there's a little gap between the bottom of them and the uh, like leave that dome thing. I like the little look of the back piece. 
but maybe like mm -hmm. raise up the monitor so there's a little gap between them and the base of the where the keyboard touches. You know, like most computer monitors are just raised just a hair. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit more, but I think you got the right ideas. So I have to be cen centered on. Yeah, you want it in front of that, right? Yeah, I want to center it if I can. There you go. All right, so there's a little gap there. All right, yeah. And then this one. Yeah, that looks good, don't it? I could be wrong. No, I think it, yeah, that looks straight. Hell yeah. All right, all right. So you think this should be a different keyboard up here, though? Yeah, whatever you, you can find or think would look good. What height are we totally? Maybe you could do like a comm speaker in the middle of that for like communications. Like if you do the, the security one with all the monitors, you could have like a CB radio type dispatch maybe. Hmm. Dude, this 3D printing shit's awesome. You can do almost T anything you can think TK of. TK421, why are you not at your station? TK421. Having some <laughs> mic trouble. Sit down, man. All right. Uh, all right. So let's see. A hand scanner was mentioned. Let's see if we find anything on that. Hand scanner, control panel, radio, speaker. I don't know. Just ideas. Yeah. Check Whatever around. we can find and works easier, I guess, would work too. The the center thing would be <clears throat> would be cool to have something. Stop. She's coming through. Okay. Could have like a nuclear like a key with a knob that they turn. Something funky like that too. Because we're going to a camera. Is that a camera? Yeah, you can put a camera right in the center, facing towards, uh, facing towards in between the two monitors. Oh, like a webcam? Yeah, I can see that working. That's the Pornhub station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, camera. Let's see. I got a feeling when I start the camera, it's going to bring up a bunch of holders and shit for cameras. It's not going to be a, it's a security Maybe camera. type in webcam, something like that. It's probably going to bring up a bunch of different webcam holders and cases. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you got to think 3D printing. Everybody's trying to uh, life hack their self out of life. Yep, yep, trying to get shit for free. Life hack. Put duct tape on your phone and tape it to your head, hands free. <laughs> what? I've seen some horrible videos. Five minute arts and crafts, I think, is the worst clickbait YouTube video I've ever seen. Uh, five minutes arts and crafts, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. I, I like those one, uh, those uh, uh, fixture car hacks that are obviously gags. Like, if you want your car Picture to run car better, hacks. pour sugar in the gas tank. Oh, I thought yeah. that worked. Oh, yeah, yeah, it works. That works, don't it? Yeah. Put water, in your gas. Put water in your gas tank. That works like a charm. Yeah. That too. You totally, you totally won't have to replace all your spark plugs, wires, heat coils. <laughs> you won't have to do any of that. This shit works wonders when you put water in your car. Shit, I used to run rental jet skis, man. Sometimes the gas caps would fall off and the fucking gas tank would fill up with salt water. We'd be there till 2 in the morning trying to clear out the fuel systems and the cylinders. Oh, my God. How many How many did you just bail? How many just got thrown away from, from all that water on them? Maybe two or three out of, like, 20 or 30 times it's happened. So, I mean, we saved them for the most part, but... Yeah, it was a chore. You got to pull the injectors. You got to pull the fuel rail. You got to 
dump yeah. the gas tank, refill it all, prime everything, make sure that there's no water in the cylinders. If there is, you got to pull the plugs and turn it over and let the water shoot out. Yep. Yep. A lot of a lot of work, man. A lot of unnecessary work. Damn. Yep. Can't get water in. I see nothing for webcams here. Nothing. I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Computer panel. Uh, so it wouldn't be panel. I'm trying to think of how to word the shit to search out what I'm looking for. And I've totally been neglecting chat. I don't know what the hell. Uh, levers. Uh, uh, fire talks. What up, man? Fire talks. Uh, let's go on, Fire Talks. A tip trick, yeah. What's up, Fire Talks? What's the tip trick, man? You need some help. <laughs> she needs some help. <laughs> Drive through. Apparently, I'm talking too loud, and my girl got mad at me. Yes, Fire Talks. That's what I'm looking for, and I can't think of how to search out. Yes, we need like, futuristic webcams, hand scanners, retinal scanners. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't think. Oh, drop the link. Okay, all right, all right, sure. Oh, you, you got two minutes, Daddy. Two minutes. Uh, it could be, it could be fifteen minutes. <laughs> That's fine. Jovid will keep you up at night. Yeah. That's why yeah. I don't sleep at night? I'll sleep when I die. <clears throat> I don't get but 28 hours of sleep a week anyway. Fuck it. <clears throat> 27 this week. <laughs> there we go. Fire Talks is in the building. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing tonight? Good. I just, I saw you on. I was like, why is he on in the middle of the week? Can yeah, you flip the, the video screens to the other side of the computer? Because, like, everything's blocked. Good. The, the live icon and then the chat. There you go. Now we can see Fire Talks. So, I was worried. So I was watching. Hey, what's up, man? The redneck. <laughs> all right. So I was watching you line up the monitors, and I'm. Gonna, I'll show you a trick. You're, right. So all of this is assets you're pulling, right? Or is any of this stuff you made? Right. Okay. Just grabbing so, stuff and just. Putting it together. All right. So that monitor you were just messing with. Slide that out of the way for a second. Right. We just did all this work. I'm going to make this way <laughs> easier on you. Way easier on you. Oh, I got to find the damn. Show right, us, Sensei. Go. Show us. All right. Get out of the way. All right. You see that uh, the little grid that says work paint underneath it? Uh, hold on. Work paint. Yep, right here. Okay. All right. Click on that. All right. Did it. Now click on the the flat base behind the keyboard get it to yep. see how it's got that square right raise it up raise up your mouse yep. okay put it right in, the, right in the center of that shape that you got it on put it in the center of this yep now click on it i need it perfectly centered no you're good right oh my God, you really just came up and hit my arm while i'm moving stuff around no, I don't have a basketball. Go lay down now. Yeah, click right there. Come on, Daddy. Just gonna make sure it's centered. No, no, no. All right. Okay. So your work pane right. is normally the floor. When you click on work pane and you change it, it now makes whatever you clicked on your floor. Okay, so click it. Click it. Okay. All right. Now, delete that monitor. And re-import the yeah, and re-import the monitor. The monitor was fucking huge. I had to resize it to get to this. The monitor was like massive. Was like twenty times the size of the the thing. Now what I can do is export this and bring and it back. And reload in. that file, right? Right. Okay. So okay. bring it back in. Then there it is in the current size. Oh, yeah, Reloaded. Import. All right. It, it, there it all is. Right. Now, you notice how it's at the same angle as your new work pane? Right, okay. So that's how you get shit when you've got something at like a, a an odd angle and you need something to line up with it. 
If you make this right. the pane and then you bring in your file, your file will now line up with it perfectly. And then Perfect. you just have to put it on top of it. Now to center it, grab a, uh, grab a box. What type of sorcery is this? Okay. All right, make that box like five by five. All right, now that it's disappeared. Well, you work yeah. in bigger scales than I do. Now, pick up the box and drag it to the center of where I had you put the work paint. It's, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass because your stuff's so big. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I gotta grab a part. It's not one of these damn squares. Okay. All right. Now, where am I going with it again? You can let go of it so you can scroll up. It's up. Like, All right. Now try to center running. it on that that shape you've got right there. Even if you on just there? use the keyboard. You know what I mean? Just up, 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 down, down, whatever. Mm. And now uh, you gotta remember, you're not raising it anymore. There you go. That looks about centered, right? So check this out. So, all right, scroll out. Right there is probably. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. All so right. scroll out. All right. Now it's still highlighted. Now hit shift and click on the mana the, that you just imported. All right, now you see um, there's uh, what looks like two bar graphs in the upper right corner where it has the two triangles next to each other. Right, you're, right. uh, <laughs> uh, you're good. You don't have to move that stuff. Uh, where am I? All right. These? No, no, no. What are you uh, up on your toolbar where it's where it says like send to, export, import, and then it's got the two triangles and then it's got the two bars. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, flipping. The flip thing we do. Is all right, don't talking. flip Mirror. it. The next one over to your left is the alignment tool. Click on that. Okay. All right, now scroll in on that little box that we put in. Okay. Click on it. Okay. Now you see those circles? Those circles right. are like orientation points. So what you want to do is click on the top middle circle. Right here? Yep. Okay. Now click on the middle circle on the right. Right like there. That? Yep. This one? Yep. Okay. Now scroll out. Uh, click off of your models. Okay. Now click on the monitor again. Okay. Hit the letter D on your keyboard. So D drops you to your work pane. Look at that shit. So what we did was we, we made your work pane the flat surface, that mounting point that you had on that desk. Then we put right. something to center it to. Now we centered it and dropped it. Now all you got to do is when you scroll in, if you, uh, if you hit work pane again, and then click anywhere outside of your new work pane. So just click like over by there. Like over okay. by the, the click work pane and then Click on like, yeah, where your mouse is. Uh, okay, I'm back down, I guess. Or? Yeah, yeah, just click, yeah, like that. All right. Okay. Now, if you click, so on I want to set up this keyboard too. So I, I could have did the work pane. Yeah, that, that. that's how I center. That's how when I'm working on like weird angles, I can get stuff to be the same angle. So now, now if this, you, this we actually wanted it up though. We right. wanted that. We wanted that little separation, you know, yeah. like a little tiny little separation. That so, but now at least, if you if you spin around to the back of the desk, if you move it, all right. So what? Now you got to be careful because okay. it's got that gap. What you want to do is make your work pane. If you're probably not going to be able to fit it right now. Um, well, actually, yeah, you can lift the monitor way up. You're just moving it out of the way. All right. Now, delete okay. the square that we put in there. 
the cube. All right. Now, do the same thing we did with the work pane. Make your work pane that back panel again. Okay. Now hit D. Right. No, he's already going to be. Um, <laughs> he's already dropped. So now right. move your monitor down, and then you're going to want to sink it. So move it down to roughly the height you want it. Which this you'll probably want to do with your just keyboard. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just I got you. Now rotate the camera around so you can see kind of behind the monitor, so you can see the gap between the monitor and that back panel. Okay. Yeah. So now you can lower the monitor, sink it into your new floor. I'm talking about going back to the. Yeah, yeah but you're not going to do it like you normally would, moving left and right. You got to remember that 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 orange right now is your floor. So you have to lower it. Uh. So <laughs> click. Uh, I think it's Control, and then start pressing down. There you go. Okay. All right. Oh shit. So now you can sync it so that it. It, it, it overlaps with that back panel just enough so that it will print right. That's probably going to be it. Yeah, that's looking great. I can get rid of that too. Yeah, yeah, you can cut that off, right? By like Grab selecting it. Box. Yep, yep. Just mute it out, right? Yeah, just mute it out. Yeah, you're just going to cut it out. But this makes it really easy because you can cut it out with all you do is you drop the cube box. And then instead of change, you know how you can there's the the knob where you can change the height, you can make yeah. it, you can invert it too. If you dra grab that knob and go through the back pane, it will be dead flat to your new floor, and it'll cut off anything you want it to cut off. All right, you don't so necessarily have to do it that way. You might be easier just to go in and block out, cut it out. So it's going to cut this off anyway because this is below the floor when I save the file, right? No. If I see it right now because it's below, this is my floor. No, it doesn't so. matter where your floor is. If you've got stuff below okay. the floor, it'll it'll end up it'll save the STL as this is it, and when you bring it back in, it'll it'll re level itself, and all that'll still be there. All right. But if, whenever you're trying to like get something lined up on one of those weird angles, since you're working with stuff like this, that's how yeah. I always do it. Change the work pane, and then change and lower things to the new work pane that way uh it'll line up and it'll all be the same it'll all be the same orientation god damn it I'd... yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to watch this video again and soak this all in totally i got i think i got the gist so i want to do this keyboard and i want to send i'm gonna try to do what you just did with the keyboard so we get the keyboard out of the way uh he said to work pain drop a square in there right well you, your work pain didn't change okay. no you got to put the chain the work pain on the keyboard flat surface right so gr drag the work pain to make it the original work pain like you did before like no click on the work pain button yep and then okay. click on the, uh, click on the original floor right okay now click on the work pane but click on your um Jeez, that flat surface there how do you rotate that box does that need to stay it doesn't no. matter about me right if you're trying to orientate it to that not being a flat surface it having a little bit of an angle this will work if you're trying to orientate it so that it rotates then yeah. what you want to do is your shape that you're looking at right there you see how it has that back wall right yeah make right. that the work pane rotate the keyboard and then move it into position. Does that make sense? Yeah, it might be a little bit too late in the night for me <laughs> to, to comprehend this. <laughs> and these it's kids not time. Yeah, man. Hey, I man. Mean, Jesus. I just got done doing a whole bunch of this, making some stuff for Earthrise Ratchet. So it was like, and then I saw oh. you. Hey, well, thank you for coming over. Boy, you showed me a whole. I've been doing this shit bare minimal, man. Like I've I've been taking the long way around shit. 
I'll mute out sections, save it, reload it, mute out another thing, save it, reload yeah. it. I used to do I, that. I used to do that too, and I until I started getting used to using the work pane. And the work plane, it really helps when you're trying to make those weird angles. Now put hey, that little box back in there. I'm a hold on, I'm a I'm actually gonna drop this for a second because I prefer the, the interaction here more than that. Well, I'll fuck with that again. But so when you were learning about all this other shit, man, where did you go to like I'm a sponge and I can pay you know, I can read and pay attention to stuff. Where did you go to start figuring out these these little tricks? So unfortunately, uh, Tinkercad's not all that popular, so there ain't a whole lot of videos on it that are still like up to date. Right. Like even the videos when I started doing this a couple years ago, the videos they had weren't weren't all very good. So it was all like uh, there was a couple tutorials, but they kind of sucked. And then it was just playing with stuff. So it was just trial and error, and you figured it out. Trial and error. So like, um, and then control keys so help a lot, I'm sure. So like. Um, on roller where it's got this little like you can't really see it but like it's got this kind of little lip that goes across right here it's almost like a armrest yeah that i work painted this angle here and then made the that piece and dropped it into the location and then sunk it in and then changed the work pane back and then grouped it and that made that sunk into it and at the right angle okay like, okay and that's how i did um I made Kato a rejecticon roller, and that's what I had to do. Is I had to like work pain the 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 hood of roller, and then bring in his logo, resize the shit out of it, and drop it in. Because if you start when when you start doing those angles, like naturally, as you're like resizing thing, something that was a forty five degree angle, when if you're doing really big stuff and then you shrink it down, that forty five degree angle might adjust a couple of degrees because the thickness changes. So it trying to like remember like oh, okay well this I'm I know that was a 45 but now I need to bring this piece in and this is at a 45. You'll you'll start seeing where it's not actually the thing. But uh, if you work plane it you bring everything in flat and you don't right. have to worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. Hey man I gotta ask you too man I see that big ass arc behind you that you're working on there, man. What what's going on, man? So, uh, or am I not supposed to see that? Should I shrink your no, screen? This, one, this isn't mine. This isn't mine. Uh, this is uh, 3D Toy Box. I think is his name. I, I, I'm, I'm probably getting that wrong, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, he designed a 3D arc that right. you mount on the wall, and then you piece it together. There's a big third section over there. Yeah. It's drawer. Oh, man. It's a shelf. Like no drawers. Um, it's five piece, well, it's, it's, it's five drawer sets. That took a day to print, like literally 23 hours. Oh, that, yeah, I know, man. This piece took, I think, 22 hours. These took 18 hours. Yep. These things take like two, three hours a piece, depending on how you yeah. Hey, what, I still, what I'm not done because it murdered my printer. My um, three years later, my, uh, <laughs> yeah. my my heater on one of my new one of my newer printers burned out trying to print this thing because I've been running it so much. Oh man! So what? Well, you got to get a new time hot to end. upgrade, right? But then, like you got to get a new hot end for it. Then no, I just had to get new. Uh, where is it? I just had to get a new one of these. Uh, uh, is that a thermos? Uh, what, what the hell is? What the hell is? Yeah, yeah, they actually eat an element. Oh, okay, okay. I just had to replace that, and thankfully that's all it was, so it's running there. Oh, oh. Oh. I mean, it's big drawers. That is tight, man. That hey, is tight. Your printers are bigger than mine, so you can print. I'm printing it 100%. You'll be able to do it too. Hey, but what speed? Now. What speeds? Do, what speeds are you printing at? I'm only doing it at 60 because I got vibration problems on this desk. So if I do anything over 60, I start getting bad ringing. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Some, sometimes I notice because I have, uh, you see, all my printers are like kind of on, on the same surfaces. 
And I think some some of the projects that I run are I, like it'll this vibration I actually affect another printer beside it. Yeah, I went to um, I, I don't know if you have one near you. I went to a place called Micro Center. It's just like a computer store. Uh -huh. and I bought um, a cheap ass mouse pad and cut it up to put underneath the feet. And then um, I put a little bit of felt underneath that. So it's got a couple pads of felt and then one of those, a piece of neoprene, because that's what the mouse pads are made of, a piece of neoprene under that. And it's helped the vibration because I got all three of the printers on the same desk. Right. So when that's running that and that's running, I don't know, Daniel's legs, and then that was running um, a Cyclonus sword somebody ordered, it was going crazy. Every, You know what I mean? Everything just, when it was doing infill, the whole desk would shake. Yeah. Hey, that because I was I was doing axles for an all striker, and it ruined. Where is that shit at? Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it this thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Like like these little wings. I don't know if y'all can see or not. Can you see how these holes yeah. look stretched? Yeah. So I'm doing the I'm doing the axles on one printer, and it's over there. It's like going along the axle doing it. And this one's printing right beside it. And and it looks like it's fine because you're not paying attention to the little damn dots. And when it finished up, I'm like, man, what the fuck happened? These, and, uh, the, the Megatron sets, I print yeah. them on one big block. I have to print these super slow because when it's doing the infill and the different angles on this thing, the whole desk shakes. The whole desk. And it's one of these big, giant IKEA L desks that I got for free a long time ago. So it's yeah. just got like three metal legs. It, it shakes the shit out of this desk. Shit, build two by fours around it and support that fucking thing. I can't afford two by fours. You seen the price of lumber? Excuse me, I forgot about that. Yeah, right. We're in Biden's America. <laughs> they want a hundred dollars for an eight by four, uh, uh, eight by uh, eight by four sheet of plywood. Yep. They want fifty-seven dollars for an eight by four sheet of three fours OS. It should be thirty-six dollars. Who for the plywood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need, when I said build uh, my sub boxes, it was like thirty six dollars for a sheet. Two I by fours, two by fours are damn near eight dollars here. Yeah, I went two two years ago. I bought a bunch of one by sixes to redo some of my deck because some of the panels were coming off. And yeah. I went back because I didn't do the whole deck. I just yeah. did bad. Well, now I got some more I got to do. And I think those were like three ninety nine for an eight foot board two years ago. And I think now they're like twelve dollars a board. I had a dude offer me at the gas station. I went to go fill up my gas tank, and I had a bunch of, I had floor repairs to do today. I had two different homes I was doing floor repairs in, and I had I had like various, I had uh, just leftover OSB sheets. You know, I brought it, loaded up a bunch of old shit that I've been saving to do the floor repairs, whatever will fit I'll use. But a dude offered to buy the pieces from me at the gas station. I don't doubt it. I was like, man, I was like, no, nah, I'm finna use it for work, man. He's like, man, I'm sorry, but he was like, the wood prices are through the roof. And he's like, I thought there were scraps. And I was going to offer you a couple bucks for your little scrap pieces or whatever. And I was like, man, wow. I was going to build one of those real hardcore uh, two by four tables. Uh -huh. You can get plans for them where literally the, the surface is two by fours and their ends stacked up like side by side. And then you just yeah. plan it out to make it flat. But it, yeah. I mean, it takes. Quite a few two by fours. I was gonna build that, and then I went and priced it out. Yeah. I will put these printers on the floor first. Yeah, for real, right? The floor ain't shaking. Oh my, <laughs> hey, he keeps, he keeps, my son, my two-year-old keeps coming with a Nerf gun. It's a one shot, and he keeps wanting me to cock it. So I cock it, and I slide it across the living room floor, yeah. way away from me. So he's yeah. gotta go get it. To yeah. shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Man, don't you be. <laughs> you know, you're to this man. Don't you this gun at me, man. Don't you this gun at me. You better, look, I'm going to take you out on a live stream. You better stop throwing this gun at me. <laughs> Here, man, get your gun in the strap. I mean, it's cocked. I didn't mean Five times. I got a question for you. What's up, man? Uh, on that Megatron set, have you thought about doing a, a fuselage filler for that funky jet mode? You mean the nose cone part? No, the, the legs in between the thighs. Uh, so I fill that gap between the thighs. You mean in rope and in, 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 oh, okay. Uh, well, the, 
that piece when you do it i mean i can do it real fast when you put it mm -hmm. on it pretty much covers it but um it also holds it at a weird angle like this was never designed to do this i don't know why hasbro was like hey look jet mode because it definitely was not supposed to be good they're supposed to go with these weird angles tell him you'll give him a dollar <laughs> I don't have a dollar. I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you four quarters. <laughs> You're probably better off he can't cock it because my four year old. I'll feed you tomorrow if you keep cocking it. She will take you out and snipe you in the head from the kitchen. <laughs> and shoot, she'll load it and. Bow. Bam. I had to take him away from her because she kept popping me in the head. There. Hey, we Bruce. I don't know. Bruce is still here. Bruce will tell you he was having a whole war with them over here yesterday. He came over to hang out, and he was taking every time they'd come out and shoot him, he'd take the gun from him. He just had a pile of Nerf guns beside him. They were they wouldn't even start crying about it. They're like, "Oh, cool. We'll just go grab another one." They go back to the truck, <laughs> grab another gun, go out again. He'd take the gun from him. Before you knew it, there's 25 damn guns in a pile around. You know, he's like, "Man, there's more going in there." He they ran he out of that fight. Hey, he wasn't gonna win that fight. <laughs> they ran out of guns. They started coming out with with Star Wars swords and shit. They're like, man, we still got. So I had to take away my Bruce son's. No, they, um, they, they stay strapped. Yeah. So here's the problem. This is all they did. All they did was just turn his leg sideways. Yeah. At least with this piece, when you put this piece in. What up, extra? It, it, it tightens them up, and then they actually in the original photos they mistransformed it. It's not supposed to uh, sit flat like that. It's supposed to use this stupid, weird angle hinge right here and come up like that, which is even worse. That's the way, apparently, that was the way they originally designed it, was to sit like this. Well. They must have been hung over on that day they designed that one. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I bought it, but I don't. Well, you don't know at the first time you buy it when it's going to transform like. Yeah, yeah. And the only reason I know that is because somebody uh, hit me up and pointed out um uh, that they what knew for a fact from some photos that weren't released that day that it was supposed to sit like this. And that's crazy that Hasbro put it like that. <laughs> Hasbro yeah. has transformed it. So its legs are supposed to pop up like this, which means when you set it on the ground, it's not stable. So its legs wow. are supposed to sit like that. So the gap's not that bad when you have the cannon in it. Yeah. yeah. But, it, I mean, it's still pretty bad. Definitely not the first time that Hasbro has failed. Yeah, look at Rodimus Prime. Yeah. Are look at how many man? times they canceled G.I. Joe. Yeah, that too. I do like that every time I turn on YouTube, the um, the old episodes of G.I. Joe are live streaming. Yeah, on Hasbro. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For two days. Has uh has Rodimus Rodimus and Galva they they've made it to the states, haven't they? I don't think so. Not yet. Okay. Galvatron has to some extent. I thought that, um, well, Megatron, because yeah, I've got the Beast, Wars, Mega, the, the Beast Wars Megatron, but the um, the Rodimus Prime, the, all the ones that I've seen so far, even like uh, Emgo did a review, but the only reason he did the review was because somebody from Australia bought one and sent it over for him. Uh, which was, I know how much that had to cost because I've had to ship parts to Australia and it cost like $80. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey y'all. I'm, I'm going to have to wrap it up, man. I got to get these kids to sleep. I man, told I, you, drip I, check them. Drip check them. Drip, drip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to jump off here too. I'm almost in the house. So. We got one more day till Friday. Hey, yeah, man, yeah. I might still get on tomorrow night to play around. I think my wife's got work, so I might I might get on and mess around tomorrow. So I'm finish up the computer screen that I that I was messing with here. I gotta watch this video again to reprocess everything. It's hard with, with kids all around. And don't forget the bat project. 
Yeah, the DC is bad for Andre. I got you, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I missed. I'm a little worried. It's a project that started a long time ago. I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna jump off here. here. Yeah. Hey, but hey, I'm fire talk. My driveway, so I'm gonna, gonna jump. jump off here. I really appreciate. It. Yeah, all, right, all right, rolling redneck. Catch you later, man. Later, man. Right. Hey, I appreciate it, fire talks, man. Yeah, no problem. I just I, I saw you trying to line that stuff up, and I, I could see that you were just getting frustrated trying to get it all lined up. And I'm like, wait, I just did, I just just did this for an hour and a half. Yeah, for real, right? Show them how it's done. Hey, hey I start off, that's I the only start way off, we get better. I start off the stream doing really good, even though I was doing the old school methods. I start off good, but then when it gets late, I just start getting cramped, and I'm like flying around. You know, the 3D. It kind of it messes with you. Yeah, you know, going around the image after a while is just frazzled out kind of. Same with making music, man. It gets old after you hear the song a hundred times. Yeah, yeah. And it messes with you when you when you first start messing with that um, work pain thing. It's gonna mess with you because you're used to working in certain directions, and you start where you're at an angle like this now, and you're trying to do everything. Just rem always remember that whatever your work pain is, that's your floor. I don't have any colors here. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up, man. I got to get these kids off my back, man. They're they're hovering heavily here. So appreciate everybody tuning into the stream. Fire Talks, big up. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing no me the point, man. Hopefully, I'll, I'll learn some more. I'm going to take her around some more tomorrow, probably. I'll get on, man. So figure out some stuff. Now I want to see you make your own little webcam to stick on that desk. Hey, I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try. I want to do a hand scanner too. Uh, Roland Redneck, he said the little center console would be cool to have like a little hand scanner type thing. Have the two computer screens and a little, you know, where you scan to to gain access to the computers. I think that'd be dope, but I, I couldn't find one that was already going on, so I might have to come and copy something myself. I used to work at a place that I had to do that every single time I went through a door for like six years, so I know exactly what they look like. Yeah. I, I've got a, I got a gist of it. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna come up with a hand. I'll, I'll I wouldn't out. do a hand. I, I honestly, I know you're trying to get off, but I wouldn't do a hand. I would just have it flat because on the real ones, it's no hand. On the real ones, it's just a flat silver pane. And when you put your hand on it, there's a light above it. That, that's how it figures out what your hand is. So really, you just need, you just need it to be a flat section, and then have a piece that overlaps it just a hair, and that'll, yeah. that'll be a good representation. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's a bit, man. Thanks again, everybody that tuned in. Thanks again, Fire Talks, and hopefully I'll catch y'all tomorrow, maybe. Later. All right, later, man. Have a good night. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Be easy. Catch you tomorrow, maybe.